Welcome back, everyone. Well, as a society, it seems as though we have all become a lot more intentional about our spending and where we put our money because our money is our power. So joining us right now with an inclusive roundup of Canadian beauty brands that we all should take a look at is our beauty expert, Natalie Smith. Hey, Natalie. Hi, ladies. It's great to see you again. And yes, as representation becomes a driving force, we're all paying closer attention, not only to the brands, but the faces behind the brands we choose to support. And we're in luck because Canada is home to such diversity, there is no shortage of incredible brands for us to support, which I am excited to take you through today. Okay, let's get started and let's set the mood. This is uh, with a mist that you're really excited about, right? Tell us about it. Yes, friends and fellow mompreneurs, Michelle Louie and Fatiba Hamidi know how challenging it can be to maintain balance. So they've created Mitha Eucalyptus Mood Mist. It's a 100% natural essential oil mist that's designed to really encourage deep breathing. So if you missed it right away, you're gonna notice Bulgarian mm. lavender that's to soothe and calm any anxiety, along with refreshing eucalyptus for a boost of mental clarity. Since getting this, I have sprayed it daily before stepping into the shower to create my own little like spa experience. I think it's great as a room spray, perhaps to ease you into your yoga practice, and of course, as a pillow spray to tuck you in at night. Set the tone. Okay, this is how I like to set the tone, and that is with my eyes. Um, I am in love with this eye makeup palette. Like, come on, range, come on, range, come on, tone for, for deeper skin tones. Can you talk to me about this? Absolutely. Nigerian-born and Toronto-based model Tomi Bilehi was so excited to book her first gig. She arrives on set and wah, wah, the makeup artist doesn't have anything in her kit suitable for darker skin tones. So frustrated by this experience, she decides to A, learn how to do her own makeup because the struggle is real, and B, she launches an inclusive Instagram community dedicated to celebrating diversity and inclusivity in beauty. That tiny community makeup for melanin girls is now thousands strong, and this is their power palette. So through social media, fans were actually able to select and name the shades that went into this palette. All 12 shades are vegan and paraben free. And I mean, wow. pigment is popping, right? These are gorgeous. Oh. I know Kayla, you're a fan. Look at that payoff, <laughs> everybody. Oh my gosh. Right? These are as vibrant as the powerhouse women they are named after. Everyone from Rosa Parks to Michelle Obama gets honorable mention. And of course, celebrities like Gabrielle Union and Cynthia Rivo are big fans. My prediction is that in 2021, if they have a new palette, Kayla will be on here. Huh? Listen. Yes. <laughs> I want to see a post, but let's speak that into existence. <laughs> okay. Okay, Natalie, even though face masks are a part of our lives right now, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't care about having a really great lip. So talk to us about lipsticks. 100%. This is a new launch from Cheekbone Beauty. It's a St. Catharines-based cosmetics company founded by Jen Harker, an Ojibwe woman. And this is their limited edition gift set. It features original artwork by iconic Métis visual artist, Chrissy Belcourt. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Inside you have a creamy wow. lip trio in an oxblood red, a cool girl 90s era brown, and a pink token yes. ring. All three are sustainable, they are vegan, and they are housed in, get this, biodegradable packaging. Because as Jen points out, Indigenous people really are the experts, the OGs, if you will, of sustainability. Mm -hmm. These are great shades. I know. Also amazing is those of us who want to be, you know, nail techs at home, we've got something for you. <laughs> this right here. Talk to me about the nail polish that you brought for us today. Yes, this brand has the sweetest origin story. The Mississauga-based founder, Umar Dar, was in between jobs at the time and couldn't actually afford nail polish for his wife. So he sets to work experimenting with different ingredients, finds a formulation that works, and presents his wife with a pink nail polish on a Tuesday as <sighs> a gift. Husbands everywhere, take Cute. note. But not just any wow. nail polish. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday in Love boasts an extensive range of five free halal nail polishes. 
what's a halal nail polish? That's micropore technology that allows both oxygen and water to pass through, much like the technology used in contact lenses. And when water is able to permeate the polish in this way and reach the nail, then some practicing Muslims will feel comfortable wearing it while performing wudu, which is ritual prayers. And this nail polish is actually certified by the Islamic Society of North America. So I think it's so important that brands are making the effort to accommodate different religious beliefs in this way. And for all of us, breathable nail polishes really offers the opportunity to rest our nails while still rocking a slaying man. The science is fascinating. So how many coats of nail polish will still remain water permeable? So up to two coats is water permeable. And no one has time for three, so that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Masks have always been a treat, but they have been a big part of pandemic self-care. I have a mask ritual I do every Sunday. This one, this is the one that you're quite, quite, quite excited about. Why? In love. This is from Squalwin. Squalwin actually means heart or essence of being. It's an indigenous line that creates small batch plant-based skincare without any of the harsh mm. ingredients. And in Squamish mm. culture, plants are actually considered to be relatives and so thus they're to be respected. And that's why founder Lee Joseph really employs cultural teachings to ensure a sustainable harvest so that the plants can still be enjoyed by the other life forms that rely on it. This is her Kalke Wild Rose face mask. It is like a sumptuous blend of hand harvested wild rose petals, rose hip powder, pink French clay, honey, essential oils. You're going to want to slather this one on generously. Lay back and enjoy for 20 minutes before rinsing off with a warm face cloth to reveal like a drenched glow. It's so good. You almost mm. won't need your moisturizer. I love the texture of it already. All right, let's move on because this is something I did not expect to hear about or find out about and that is um shampoo in the form of bar soap can you tell me more about it yes this is from um sade baron which is a toronto owned and operated mother daughter team sade actually had eczema growing up as a child and when her aunt intervened as aunties do with a homemade remedy that had amazing results, it really shaped her deeply. So together with her daughter, Rachel, they created this Baden moisturizing shampoo bar, mm. which is natural, sustainable, and vegan. And it's wonderfully versatile. This is both shampoo and conditioner and great for hands and body. So it's really oh. <laughs> your face, lady, but it's the super fats in this bar that make it so moisturizing like castor oil um, sunflower mm. oil coconut oil that's really going to maintain healthy hydration whether your hair is wavy or curly or coiled plus the plastic free packaging of this shampoo bar is so eco-friendly it's great for 60 washes or the equivalent of a 500 milliliter bottle Wow. And mm. and does it break down, you know, hairspray and hair products? Absolutely. Listen, I'm going to try this. This is amazing. <laughs> I you have a day. This is amazing too. <laughs> okay. We we just covered shampoo bars, but what about soap bars for the rest of our body? Tell us about that. I mean, look at these featuring loads of hand-picked fresh wild rose petals, juniper berries. The indigenous owned and operated Yukon Soaps Company created this gorgeous gift trio that you'll just wanna like inhale. It features Yukon mm. wild rose, petals and patchouli, as well as gin and tonic. And the founder, Joella oh. Hogan, actually hails from a long line of indigenous matriarchs. They are teachers, they are healers social advocates mm. and she describes arriving home to find that local children had left baskets of wild rose flower petals for her to use in her soaps as the moment she knew she had made the right decision moving to her traditional wow. territory oh next let's move on to body butter because this right here ladies ladies especially the ones <laughs> that experience the ash like i do ash comes on like it's like like it's of the boogeyman okay can you talk to me uh talk to us rather about this body butter because this is phenomenal it is and you know armed with the awareness Ooh. that your skin absorbs up to 
70% of what you put on it into your bloodstream. Tammy Chauvelin, she went ahead and got to work crafting these rich, creamy body moisturizers known as her butter creams. Lainey, you have the lemongrass and thai. Uh, Kayla, you have bergamot and patchouli. And I have sleepy patchouli. honey. All crafted with natural shea butter, babasu oil, avocado oil. A little goes a long way. These just melt right in to address any dryness and irritation like you mentioned, Kayla. And more importantly, leave you glowed up. Now, Toronto-based Essentials by Tavy sources all of their shea butter from fair trade centers in her home country of Nigeria, thereby cutting out the middleman and empowering female rural entrepreneurs. Do you just use these on like this on spot areas, you know, like a particular area that's super dry or all over? Go for it, use it all over, but just remember it is rich. So just a little bit's necessary, but you can use this everywhere. My hands are so dry they could start a fire if I go like this, it's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, all of this has been so perfect, especially with the holiday season coming up and we're all looking for little gifts for people or for ourselves. So thank you so much for joining us today. For a recap of all of these products, check our website after the show and we'll be back right after the break. 